Welcome. I hope you enjoy the poem that you are about to hear and read. You will understand the poem I'm about to read if you have first read the written preamble in this post that paints the background for this poem. The introduction includes the first of the Ten Commandments in the Bible, which states, You shall have no other gods before me. Exodus 20, verse 3. The introduction also refers to the words of Jesus when he was asked about which commandment was the greatest. He responded with, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, and with all your soul, and with all your mind, and with all your strength. Mark 12, verse 30. If you don't appreciate the context of this poem, you may miss the point of the poem. We encourage you to read carefully the written introduction provided to this poem. Rhoda Griffin, Christian wife and mother of five, authored this poem on March the 21st, 2020, as a struggle around the world intensified to mitigate the effects of the COVID-19 pandemic. The title is, The Gods of Men Are Falling. The gods of men are falling, they are crashing to the ground, and with the endless tumbling, men's lives and dreams are drowned. The gods of men are falling, the house is coming down. We stagger with the pressure, and silence is our sound. The gods of men are falling. The god of health goes first. We've worshipped at this altar, where many find their worth. One touch of blackened illness has brought us to our knees. No one is accepted. Indiscriminate disease. The gods of men are falling. The god of sports is gone. Entertainment's vanished. Pop culture's lost its song. Hollywood is emptied out. Each resident is fled. The god of movies cannot save. We plead to God instead. The gods of men are falling. The god of leisure's next. Cruising ships sit vacant. The travel world is vexed. Planes sit grounded from the air. Dream holidays are dashed. We cry over our losses. It happened all so fast. The gods of men are falling. The god of wealth stripped whole. The stocks, they spiral downward. It's way out of control. Our lover, wealth, abandons. He's taken wings of flight, grinding business to a halt. It's happened overnight. The gods of men are falling. We worship them with heart. We gave our souls to their embrace. We serve them all in part. We placed our hopes upon them, entrusted them our soul. We set them up as idols, we followers untold. But these gods of men are falling, empty at their core. Within a day they make their grave, destroy us by the score. We look to them for mercy, the love our hearts longed for, but they could never see us, false idols as they are. And now we see the fallout of trusting emptiness. These gods would never save us, they're lacking every strength. The gods of men are falling, they fall before I am, the only true eternal God who was, is, and to come. They bow before his greatness, who makes the sun to rise, the one who made the earth and seas, the one who rules the skies. They bow the knee before him, on their faces fall before the one who with a word commands, the one who rules it all. The gods of men are falling, We've peeled their layers back, seen them for what they really are, and all the power they lack. The true God, he is standing where the gods of men fall flat. He has been our savior, and he is coming back. When all has crashed around us, the house of cards is gone. God will still be for us, God and God alone. This world is just a passage, a temporary home, 
One day we'll live in heaven and worship at God's throne. No sin disease may enter, no contaminant allowed, no, nothing that's destructive will be part of that crowd. So take heart, dear believer, and when you look around, don't be fearful when you see God's falling to the ground. They were never meant to save you or be worshipped or be served by a child of God like you and me as though heaven's here on earth. You're a child of the mighty one who still sits on the throne. And while the world unravels, you won't ever be alone. Our great and sovereign God, who never slumbers, never sleeps, he it is who stands beside you. He it is who your soul keeps. So, let the gods take tumble to reveal the Lord our God, who is great in all his power, who is faithful to his word, who is loving, kind, compassionate, the savior of our soul, who surpasses any idol, who amounts to more than gold, our everlasting father, prince of peace, the mighty God, wonderful our counselor, who is the word of God. He will never, never crumble. He will never, never fall. Our past, present, and future. He is God over it all.